Sastrikalji and welcome to another fun and easy Pangla tutorial. This is actually a special tutorial because this is one of my many classes from my beginner Pangla series on my website. So if you like this tutorial, do check out my beginner Pangla series on my website. I'll put the link in the description below and I'll also link it up here. You can find my complete Pangla series on my website in English and in Punjabi. So you choose the language that you prefer. And it features eight Pangla classes with me in an easy follow along format where you will learn 26 Pangla steps. And you will also learn a full dance choreography on the full song Tera Yaar Bolda. Many of my students love this beginner Pangla series because it helps them become a better Pangla dancer in the comfort of their own home. So if you like this tutorial, do check that out. I think it's time to get started with Pangla. Let's go. Sastri Kalji and welcome to class number three. In this tutorial, you will learn three variations of Tamal. After learning these three variations of Tamal, you'll be able to learn more advanced Tamal based steps. At the end of the class, we will use these steps and practice a short choreography on Tera Yaar Bolda song. First, stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. This is our starting position. Keep your hands on your hips for now. Keep both of your feet tilted towards the side. Don't keep them straight like this. Now lift one leg all the way up to your waist or higher if you can maintain your balance. To lift your leg in Tamal style, make sure that your leg is not pointing to the front like this. It should also not be lifted all the way to the side. Somewhere in the middle of these two positions is where you want to be. Now repeat the same motion with the other leg. When you lift your legs like this in Tamal, you will notice that your body will lean towards the leg that's supporting you. This is your body's way of maintaining the balance because your center of gravity shifts when you lift one leg. But make sure you don't lean way too far back. Now we will add hops on both legs. There's a trick to this. The hop will be initiated by the balancing leg. But we don't hop with the whole foot and the mall. If you try to jump with your whole foot, you won't be able to get the right height and you might lose your balance. That's why we hop on our toes. Let's try this motion with an eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One important styling element, this makes the leg movement look much better. Use the momentum of the leg you lift to hop a little higher with the balancing leg. If you don't use momentum from the other leg, this is what the motion ends up looking like. But if you use the momentum, then the step looks like this. Let's try these tamal basics with this element. Let's do an eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now it's time for us to learn the upper body motion. Lift both of your arms over your head. You can keep the palms open or have the index finger touching the thumb. Don't lock your elbows, keep a slight bend in them, but don't bend them too much either. Now we will move our shoulders with an eight count, but don't let your shoulders rest in between the counts. Keep them moving slightly even between the counts. This is what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These small shoulder movements we do between counts, that's what gives them the folk style. Let's practice these shoulder movements 
with a nice and slow eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nicely done. Now it's time for us to put the legs and arms together. When you lift your leg, that's when you do the big shoulder movement. When you're switching legs, that's in between the counts. That's when you do the minor shoulder movement. This is what it looks like. One, two, three, four. Let's practice single tamal in slow motion three times on a four count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. Let's do the four counts faster now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well done. Now it's time for us to practice with the toll beat. Now we will learn a slightly advanced variation of the mall. You can also call this step triple the mall. This step uses all of the basics of single the mall, but it can be slightly more challenging for your balance, which is why we lean even farther back in this step. You will hop three times on one leg on your toes before you switch sides to the other side. Upper body remains the same. Shoulder movements also happen three times before you switch legs, like this. I'll show you this step in slow-mo to give you an idea. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. As you can see, you will have to lean farther back to maintain your balance in this step. Let's try it together on the same three counts four times. Do it with me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nicely done. Now it's time for us to practice on the toll beat. Our last step in this tutorial is called Chutki or Snap Tamal. We will follow all of the rules of single tamal, but in this step, instead of lifting your leg up, we will kick it back. This step is actually easier than single tamal because it's easy to balance in this one. Kick back with one leg, then with the other. Just keep alternating like this without jumps. Try to keep your body upright and don't lean forward when you kick your legs back. Now let's add the tamal style jumps. Use your balancing leg to hop with your toes, not the whole foot. And then just keep alternating between your legs. And you can sway your body a little to the side as you do this towards the balancing leg. And just like single tamal, use the momentum of the kicking leg to jump higher. Let's try it on an eight count. One, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट नाउ वी विल एड द अपर बॉडी मोशन शोल्डर मूवमेंट इज द सेम वेन द लेग किक्स बैक डू द बिग शोल्डर श्रग वेन यूर स्विचिंग फीट डू द स्मॉल शोल्डर श्रग लेट सी वट इट लुक्स लाइक ऑन एन एट काउंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट आर्म्स आर सुपर इजी लिफ्ट द आर्म दैट्स ऑन द सेम साइड एज द बैलेंसिंग लेग and position the other arm at a 90 degree angle to the first arm and we will also snap our fingers on each count let's see what this looks like on an eight count 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven and 8 now it's time for us to combine all of these elements in practice let's try a four count three times First we'll try it in slow mo. 1 Now let's pick up the speed with the same counts. 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 1 2 3 4 Nicely done. Now it's time for us to try this step on the toe beat. Well done. Now we will use these three steps to practice on the song Tera Kya Bolta. Just follow along with me. We will do eight counts of single tamal two times. Then we will do six counts of triple tamal. And at the very end we will do eight counts of chutki tamal. Don't worry about the counts. Just follow along. Let's do this. <laughs> 